out into the distant future. I mean, 15 years isn't so very far. But I have a feeling that we will have a lot more energy invested in interfaith. That the particularity of different faith communities within, uh, I would say, especially within Christianity, because I am involved both in ecumenical and interfaith affairs with the National Council of Churches, um, those things may become less significant, but the importance in each and every congregation, uh, Jewish, Christian, Muslim, of a kind of interfaith energy is going to be significant because we actually, um, in our daily lives, we lead lives in which we need to know more about one another. And we need the kind of interfaith energies that are provided. So. I think, um, you know, that's a, it's a tough question, but I, I would like to think that there would be a lot of interfaith activity, that it would be mainstream rather than fringy, that it would be vital to many <coughs> congregations rather than simply a few, and that almost every place that you would touch uh, would see some, some real interfaith energy. I think, uh, I mean, I feel confident of this in some ways because I do work with students and people who are in their 20s, uh, early 20s, for them, this is the sea they swim in. They, uh, you know, are not needing to be persuaded somehow that uh, we need to uh, reach out and understand one another better because the workplace, the places that they're likely to be engaged will require this. It's a, basically a, a skill of citizenship in the kind of world that we live today and certainly of leadership. So I hope that's the case. Uh, let's check in in 15 years and we'll see.